Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at visualizing our results. So we're going to do this by looking at the floating sphere case. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, in the post processing section, click part VTK. And we're going to select the fluid part and we're going to call this fluid part, like so. And then click export. So we'll just wait for that to export quickly. It's worth noting the simulation has already been run, so we're just processing the data. Okay, and again we're going to click on part VTK, and this time we're going to select the floating part. And this time we'll just name the file again, floating part, and export that. We'll just give that two seconds. Okay, so we're now going to go into our documents and we'll just show where those have appeared. So those have appeared in the floating sphere case out folder contained within the large floating sphere folder. And you can see that this has created a load of individual files for each step of the simulation. Okay, we're just going to open up those two files. So you can see that in PowerView those are shown as two individually small little folders as opposed to the big list that we had before. So we're going to click apply, we're going to colour this by the velocity okay so you can see here we can get rid of the fluid part and you can see the floating part and if we get rid of the floating part you're left with just the fluid part. Now if we press play, we'll let this run through, you can see a nice visualization of our simulation. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any further questions, please refer to the Jules Physics Forum. Please don't hesitate to contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.